and gentlemen welcome back to another AutoCAD tutorial here we go I got a message from somebody they were asking me to help them out making a YouTube video uh, tutorial for this saw blade okay so looking at the document that he sent me you can see that you know obviously we have the dimensions on this one and I don't have it on my personal one that I just made but we're gonna go through and we're gonna follow this document alright so I see the saw blade on the outside that's the teeth right I see an inside circle, easy. Um, I see another inside circle, which is used as the center point uh, when you draw a line horizontally and vertically. So that center point is the center of these circles. And then the center of the entire thing is these two circles, okay? So all that stuff on the inside is very easy to do, and we're gonna get to that uh, last. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna worry about the actual saw blade, because when I look at a drawing, I just wanna get the hard part out of the way, all right? So looking at that, I see a radius 60. That's how big the circle is that would be outside of these uh, saw blades or, or teeth, and they would be touching each top of each tooth all the way around, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a radius with my circle tool and I'm going to go 60 enter, okay? Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a line and draw it to the right. I want to draw and figure out, I want to figure out first how many teeth there are all the way around. So if you count this as one, two, three, four, five, I'll let you guys count all the way around. This one would be number 18. So there are 18 total teeth around the saw blade, all right? So what that means is I'm going to take this and I'm going to use the array command. Uh, in the array command, there are three different arrays. There's a rectangular array, which would be where it would just array it in a pattern uh, rectangularly. There's a path array where along a path it would do an array. And as you can see, you can put your cursor over top of uh, any one of these tools and really any tool in the software. And after a couple seconds, it'll give you a little description and show you a little picture of what that tool does. Uh, what we're going to use is called the polar array, which is similar to a clock. It's going to go around the center. Okay, so polar array. Uh, it's going to want to know, now hang on, select this first, go to polar array. Okay, now it's going to ask you to specify the center point of the array, which is going to be the center of the clock, which is going to be right here. And then it's going to populate these lines, and it's going to show you a little bit of text up top here in a new menu. Okay, uh, in this menu, the two most important things to me are, well, I guess three most important is, how far would you like this to go around? Well, we want it to go all the way 360, but if you were doing this and you only wanted it to be 90 or 180, you would change that number. As you can see, 90 would change it where it's only doing it one corner, okay? Uh, so we're gonna go back to 360. Uh, the next thing is, is how many items? We already counted, there's 18. If you type 18 and you see this doesn't change yet, you gotta hit tab. Tab is gonna actually move it to Hopefully, you know what, it doesn't move it to the next box, but it'll populate that line of that value that you put in, okay? And then that's automatically going to figure out that there are um, 20 degrees between each line going all the way around, all right? Last thing you do is hit close array. So now we've got this here. Uh, the next thing we want to do is work out one of the teeth, and then we're going to array that around, okay? So what you have to do, and at first, I'll be honest, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, hmm, what is the inside radius of the circle that the inside of the teeth would touch? Uh, I thought the dimension was missing at first, but it's not because it's actually describing it using an angle, okay? So we have all the individual lines going already, but we don't have the angle going. So what it's saying is that from this angled line of the tooth, 90 degrees off of that is the line that we already have. So if we have this line already, then we're going to go 90 off of that, and where that hits this point is where it's going to be good, okay? So the next thing I have to do here is I'm going to have to take this and explode this array. Uh, almost every time I do an array, I end up exploding it because you can't do anything with that array until it's separated into different lines and entities, okay? Um, without exploding it, I can't put center lines, hidden lines, I can't, you know, any line types. I can't put line weights or anything like that on it, so explode. That's going to pull all these apart. It's going to make them all separate. Okay, uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these lines and I am going to do a, let's see, what do we want to do? We want to do a rotate copy, okay? Uh, rotate is just a rotate command, okay? And we're going to rotate it off of this point, but we're going to do a copy of that because I don't want to just rotate the one that's there. I still need that one. I just need one that's going to go roughly in this direction, okay? So we're going to rotate that in 90 degrees and it's gonna give us that. And just like that, I did what I told you not to do. <laughs> so we're gonna do that again. Rotate, select what you wanna rotate, hit enter, 
grab it from the outside point, hit copy, and then do 90, okay? And you get a line like this. Um, now, this doesn't look like much yet, but if you take this line and you use the move command, M, enter, or you can go up to move, which is up here, uh, grab it from the end over here and put that on this point, and you'll see that now we have created that 90 degree angle right here, and we do not need the rest of this line. So now we basically have one of these teeth figured out, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep this circle for now, even though we don't need it. I'll need that to get the center of these points later. Um, I'm going to take this line right here, and I'm going to array this. And it's going to be another polar array at the center. And I'm going to do the same exact numbers. I'm going to do 18 items. That's going to give me 20 degrees. By the way, you can also hit enter in here if you don't want to hit tab. Um, that'll give you all the way around, all 18 of them, and then hit close array. Once again, I can't do anything with these lines unless I explode them. So explode. All right, again, leave this circle here for now. We're going to get rid of that in a second. But trim all of these lines. Don't need those anymore. All right, what we do need to do is draw more circles. The teeth are done. At the center of this big circle, so you'll see that I didn't get that plus right away. I had to hover over this circle to say, oh, okay, I'm on the circle. Here's the center. Now I'm on this center. I'm going to create two circles, okay? Uh, one of them is a radius 10, is the inside one, and one is a diameter 20. I'm sorry, both diameter. I read that wrong. Diameter 10, diameter, diameter 20, all right? So make sure you hit diameter down here or drop this down and use the diameter tool. See there's no plus. Hover over the circle. You got a plus. 20, 10. All right, so you got those two. Uh, two more circles to do, two more big circles. You've got a radius 47.5, all right? So go back to radius, same center, 47.5. And then you've got the one that's gonna be a center line that shows you the position of the centers of these other circles. And that one is a radius 27.5. So at this point, 27.5. And then what we're gonna do is I think that this exam wants you to extend your uh, center lines out. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go, I'm going to get a position here. I'm going to go out, let's say, let's say five inches, okay? And now I'm going to draw back this way, but remind yourself that you have a double line there now. I only did that to find that position. You could also do that with a circle. I could do an offset of five. Ooh, I just erased a line that I didn't want to erase. There we go. There's actually three lines here now. One of them is the tooth, okay? Um, but anyways, going back, you could also do an offset of five off of this big circle. And then as you're drawing your line here, I don't click yet. I slide first off of that center and click all the way out here and then go all the way across, okay? Uh, I'll do the same thing up and down. I'll go here, I'll slide up until I hit the top circle and then I'll go all the way down until I hit the bottom circle bottom of the circle okay uh, we don't need that circle anymore and we don't need the big one anymore so those two are gone these two are going to be center lines but we're not ready to do that just yet all right so now you've got intersections for these other circles these other circles are a diameter of 20 so same as this circle on the inside so if i go to the diameter tool make sure that we're still recording here very nice at the intersection, I can't tell you how many times I've done full videos without being recording. Sometimes I hit something on my keyboard and it actually stops my video. I think it's like F10 or something. Um, anyways, 20. Now you can make that four times or you can copy it, grab it from the center, and put that on the other ones. All right, and I'm pretty sure that's it. All right, we just got to do some center lines and then we are done. So we've got Let's see. Let's do some line weights first. Make sure that your line weight toggle is on. That's down here. Okay. If you don't have that blue, then you can't see the line weights. Uh, this is probably the most annoying part of the drawing. You have to go around and select all the teeth. So just give me a second to do that. This one is on top of another line. So I don't want to do a green box here. I want to do a blue box and just go over that line. Blue box is clicking and going to the right. And another one right here, another blue box. All right, so we got all those. Then we've got this one. 
We've got that one and that one and these four. If you accidentally select something that you don't want, hold shift and click it again. All right, those are going to be, I'm just going to make up these line weights here. I like to do 0.7s because they print out looking real nice. And then the last thing you're going to do is going to put center lines on these two lines and on the circle that's going around uh, showing you the intersections of the other circles. So I have to load that first, or you probably have to load that first. I probably don't. If I go in here and I go to other, what I'm going to do is hit load and I'm going to find, I think I was using center, the biggest, mm, no, center X2. Let's use the biggest center there is because that one looked pretty nice over here. And we wouldn't have to worry about scaling our, our annotations. Okay, annotations is another name for dimensions. So we're going to do that. It's going to tell me I can't load it again, so I'll just hit cancel. And once you have yours loaded, you will select these lines. One, two, three, and you will change that to center, what do we want? I thought it was center X2, yes. Just like that, all right? And now you have a saw blade, right? That's not fun. Okay, I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later.